When starting retopology, I like to use the points and faces tool that allows you to place points and create a polygon in between them. In some places where this doesn't quite work the way you'd like, you can switch to the quads tool and use that to extend an edge out either to the points or to wherever you like. For rounder areas like this cylinder here, you take the strokes tool and look at it from the side view with the orthographic turned on. And starting outside, draw a stroke on the cylinder. And even put one in the middle here. Now I'll draw one down the length of it. Press enter to create the voxels, the polygons. Same thing on this side. Now we can go back to the points and faces tool and just fill in the gaps. When you're done creating the polygons with the Retopo tools, you'll need to mark the seams. These are the areas between the UV islands. Just pick the Mark Seams tool and start clicking some edges. If you hold the Shift key, you can select an entire edge loop. That makes short work of setting up your UV islands. When you're all done, click the Unwrap tool. This will actually create your UV map. When it's finished, you can see in the UV preview the whole thing. You can control this with the similar tools as navigating the viewport. You pick the brush tool up here, you can move points around, but also smooth out some of this blue-red area which displays distortion in the UV map. 